in the grim, dark future, there is only war. And there's my tank that I would be in, in said war. Well, he's all done now, there. This year, my first one of my eyes, my first Games Workshop Warhammer 40k piece that I've actually finished, probably never, maybe? I got about a thousand of them, well, 30. Started, been sitting for years, but this one's done. And now I'm addicted to doing Warhammer 40k tank dioramas. Well, this one's going to my father. This one's for Butch. And then I got another one all built and ready to go for Jen's dad. Well, built. It's got to get painted. The base got to get built. But so much fun. I mean, I learned so much and got a bunch of new products and tricks. Lots of little hidden things in there. Seven hidden skulls throughout the base. And there's more than, there's things with skulls on them, but there's actually seven, like, human skulls hidden in there. There's two there. Some goo coming out of that pipe that's got a little glow in the dark in it, so that will glow at night there. Some water effects. Some tufts. The little vegetations. Who knew they sold little vegetations? Some oil coming out of his exhaust there. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's got that flip-flop sheen to it, the oil, you know. Some more tufts there. Nice little... 50 gallon drum with some skulls in it and that might have a tiny bit of a radioactive glow to it also at night so much fun Always like neat models. I can remember going to the whaling museum with my father and seeing all these models of the whaling ships and crazy dioramas and so cool. So it's nice to be able to give him something to hang on his wall. It's not a monster, you know, it's a little bit more like a, I mean, it's fictional futuristic military diorama, but that's better than nothing, you know? And then this one was one sort of weathering, the tank I'm about to paint for Jen's dad, which is pretty much the same tank, slightly different barrel, different custom modifications, is going to be like a different style of weathering. Uh, so I'm going to, each one I do, I'm going to try and practice uh, kind of a different, you know, a different style. Everybody does their weathering different. There seems to be crazy set ways to do it, and I'm loving the uh, experiment with all of them. So there you go. Thanks for looking. I'm going to take some still pictures of this guy, too. Um, I might have a little more control over them than I have over the way the video is getting it with the light and everything. But there you go. Thanks for looking. Later.